Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video on these. The Outlet Sock versus the Sense You Baby Monitor. Because we all have questions. So, I've been using both and I want to make a list or I did make a list and I want to read through them because I bought this and this is what $300, $400, somewhere around there. And um, I was under the impression that it alerted you if something were to happen. And then I found out that um, the old one did and then it was considered a medical device when it did that. So they recalled it and came out with the Dream Sock that does not do that. So I started panicking and then I went out and bought this because this one is supposed to alert you if your baby's breathing is abnormal or something happens and your baby stops breathing, it alerts you. So I wanted to do a video on both of these, talking about them both and what I think about them both. So if you're interested in that, Let's keep watching. Okay, so I've been using this since I think he was a month old. Prior to that, he did not fit the sock, which sucked because I did not sleep. Again, I was under the impression that this alerted you if something happened, so I barely slept. This is the Dream Sock, and it goes um, from 0 to 18 months. And what this actually does now is... Um, I looked into it and I screenshotted it so I could read it. This is to accurately track baby's sleep quality indicators, including heart rate, average oxygen level, which is every 10 minutes, movement and wakings. And then I looked up, does it give alerts? It says the outlet dream sock empowers parents to build better sleep habits from day one. The smart sock had features notifying users that the baby's heart rate and oxygen levels levels departed in, from preset values. The dream sock does not have these notification features. And then I looked up, does outlet dream sock alert for low oxygen because it tracks the oxygen. And it says, no, it does not. The Dream Sock is a sleep solution that tracks your child's sleep state and sleep quality by tracking sleep indicators such as oxygen level. Dream Sock does not send notifications based on oxygen level readings falling outside of preset zones. So if your baby's oxygen would drop, it um, tracks it by every 10 minutes. So by the time it would show you that your baby's oxygen is low, it would probably be too late and it doesn't alert you anyway. So... The thing about that already turned me off and which is why I ran out and bought something else, but I still do use the dream sock because when you track your baby's sleep, it helps, um, it shows you the baby's sleep window, which if I open it right now, it'll say his sleep window, where is it? Started at 1054. So it calculates based on your baby's sleep data from the night and it'll tell you from when they wake up when their next like nap is going to be or their next sleep so I use it to track that to help me um with his wake windows because before that I didn't know what wake windows were I didn't know how to figure them out and he was always overtired I could never get him down for a nap I couldn't get him to stay asleep for a nap so um I use it mainly for that because now I know when he's supposed to be due to go for a nap or to go to sleep and that's when I start putting him down and everything goes much smoother. That's what I use it for now and that's what I'm going to continue using it for. But other than that, um, I do like that it shows when the baby was like awake, when he's sleeping, um, how many wakings he had. But it is kind of glitchy because it'll say like he was awake for 10 minutes and slept for 3 minutes and it'll say that he has great sleep quality, which it's not. If he was awake longer than he was asleep, that's not great. Um, and then sometimes it'll say like he was awake for 10 minutes, sleeping for 5 minutes, and it'll say he had zero wakings when it says clearly he was awake for 10 minutes. That part I don't like. Always glitchy there. Um, but... I like to watch his data and I like the um, 
the help with the wake windows. That's all I like this for. Is it worth $300 to do that? Absolutely not. I think they should have dropped the price when they took that feature away. I think a lot of people are under the impression that it still does that, which is why they're still being bought. Um, because if I would have known that from the start, I would not have purchased it. Um, but now that I have it and it's too late to return it, I'm going to keep using it for the sleep data and the window, the wake window features. On to this. I hate this. <laughs> Am I going to keep using it? Yes, because it alerts you if something happens to his breathing. But this gives so many false alarms. This gives false alarms too. I put this sock on. I'm trying to rock my baby to sleep. Right when my baby falls asleep, a big alarm goes off. The sock was moved or the sock placement is wrong and it blares that noise, which wouldn't be so bad if he was sleeping in his room, but he's in our room where the base is. So it wakes him right back up and we have to start all over again. Then he gets overtired. That makes me so mad with this, but I've never had another alert go off. So like that's the only issue with the false alarms that I have is when I'm when he's kicking like crazy like when he's fussing and kicking it goes off and when I'm rocking him to sleep it goes off. This. I've had like 20 false alarms go off and I've only been using this maybe what a week. So this um First of all, I just want to show that this is a lot smaller than I thought it was. Somebody posted a picture of this on a newborn diaper and it looked huge. It is not. It is not big at all. When it's on their diaper, it is, it's not big. Um, so I was happy to see that. So this says that you can track your baby's vitals anytime, anywhere. It tracks breathing alerts, um, overheating and cold alerts, stomach sleeping alert. Um, see the baby's vitals from anywhere. It supports twins and multiples and it tracks room temperature and humidity. So what could be wrong with it, right? Well, the fact is that um, the alarm is so loud, which is good. If something's wrong with your baby's breathing, you want to be alert and woken up immediately. But the thing is with false alarms, you're waking your baby up for no reason. And with the false alarms, for example, we had a false alarm last night and I and you have to open the app to stop it. I have to open the app and then, um, let me show you. I have to open the app and I have to hit this tiny button up here. Oops, sorry. It's over here. This tiny button over here to turn that off. And I have to hit the tiny button over here to turn the bass off. So while that's blaring and your baby's awake, you have to jump up out of your sleep, open the app, and you have to hit those two buttons to make it go off. But last night it went off and I jumped up and I opened the app and there was nothing there. There was no alert. I didn't know why it was going off, what happened. So I didn't like that because if it was his breathing, it didn't tell me that. So how am I supposed to know like something's wrong, right? Well, luckily it wasn't his breathing, but still I hated that. Um, it did tell me, uh, it got really cold last night and we had a fan on. It did tell me that the room was very cold. It was below the temperature that is good for babies. So it did alert me to that. So I woke up and turned the fan off, turned the fan off, but, um, I did appreciate that. So we don't freeze. The baby doesn't freeze. Um, but yeah, so many false alarms. I'm, I made a list of everything, the good and the bad of both, and I'm just going to read through them. Um, the outlet, what I like about it is it tracks the wake windows for you. It shows you the sleep, sleep quality from the day before. It tracks when they fall asleep and when they get up and it gives you data about the previous night. What I don't like about it is it doesn't alert you if something happens. The sock makes his foot so sweaty. Always goes off when I'm rocking him to sleep and the oxygen, re the oxygen readings are every 10 minutes. That's annoying. The Sense U, um, what I like about it is it alerts very loud. Um, it tracks the breathing and movement, belly and back. Um, so if he rolled over on, he's starting to roll now. So if he rolls on his belly, it'll alert me um, because he can't quite get back on his back yet, but he can roll back to belly easily. 
um, and it alerts you if his breathing starts to decrease. So if it drops a little bit, it'll alert you. What I don't like about it is it doesn't tell you when they're when they fall asleep or when they wake up. It has no data from the night before or any data at all unless it's on. The base light is is not subtle. It's very bright. Um, so another thing that we started doing with the baby is we have a hatch machine and I always slept with the TV on and that hatch machine light on but the pediatrician suggested maybe we turn it pitch black to see if that helps with his like startles because he's still startling. Um, so the fact that it's pitch black and then the base of this is lighting up the room kind of sucks. Um, it is very bright which I don't like. And then the feeling temp seems off. My baby's temperature has never been in the 80s ever. Like I could take his temperature. Um, in fact, I did. After he had his shots, I was taking his temperature throughout the night because he did have a fever. And it, the app was saying that his um, feeling temperature was like 80 something. And it in fact was 101. So that was off. I don't know since it's still newer to me, if there's a setting that I'm getting wrong. Um, as far as I know, there isn't. I just, I don't know about that. But it was right about the room temperature, so I don't know. I don't think there is a product out there that is going to be perfect for this type of thing. Um, these two combined would be great. Or if this did everything in this form, that would be great. But I don't know. I don't think there's any one product that's going to do everything you want, which sucks because they are expensive products. And I feel like they're kind of taking advantage of parents because they know they have really bad anxiety, especially first time parents. And they would do anything to make sure their baby was okay. Um, so they buy these outrageously priced products that don't even do a lot so like I said I'm gonna keep using this because of the wake windows and sleep quality from the night before and the data from the night before I mean and then I'm gonna keep using this because of the breathing alerts um, there was something else I wanted to say about this too when your baby starts sleeping on their belly um, you can move this to the back their back which is nice um this is also weird somebody on instagram sent me a screenshot of their um app and it looked like this and it had this button to turn it off i don't have that like i just showed you mine how i have to turn it off which is weird because that picture is on this monitor maybe i have the wrong app i don't think i do if it connects no i have the only app that it has Yeah, so I don't know about that. And if you're wondering, I got this from Amazon um, and it was, well, it's $200, but it was on sale when I bought it, which is why I bought it. And then the outlet is $300 on Amazon. And it's also sold at Target. Another thing I like about outlet is their customer service you just go on the app and you can message with them and talk to them this i don't think has that not that i saw but every time i have a question about the sock i always go in there and i talk to them which is really easy and really nice and um i don't think you can do that with this one so i think that's the end of this video like i said i hate things about both of them and i like things about both of them but i'm going to keep using both of them for said reasons um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It helped you a little bit if you're on the fence with either one of these things. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them. Um, to the best of my ability. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment, follow me on all my other social medias. They're linked down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.